25 years of me looking for reptiles. Oh, wow. So that is called the plastic the snakes and amphibians and wildlife in Florida. I've never ever ran across this species of snakes. Now that could be due to various reasons. This is in fact the smallest snake I've ever found. And you may be thinking to yourself, this looks like a worm. Well, it definitely looks like a worm. Upon closer analyzing, you can see that instead of segments, you actually have scales. Now this is a fossorial snake species, which means it lives its whole entire life underground. It is in fact the Brimini blind snake, and it doesn't need vision. It has very good keen sense of smell with the forked tongue, like all snakes do. Um, this snake right here actually feeds on the larvas of termites and ants and it will go into the ants burrows. It's the same diameter as the ants burrows, and it will actually feast on different insects that are of that size. Now this one's a little beat up looking, and that's probably because of its, it's getting a little more active, uh, the nature of its prey, which, you know, ants have mandibles and stingers, as well as termites that chew wood. So they are um, certainly formidable prey for something like this. Now, when I first saw it, I thought it was an earthworm. It's a shiny metallic blue in color, but it is actually a snake. And I was able to tell by its movement when I found it right here, it just, it slithered along and tried to burrow again. I said, wait, that looks weird. It's probably there, you can see the slithered motion there. Not like an earthworm. Uh, earthworms move in like a push, pull, push, pull, kind of like, um, I can't think of the word for the motion, but it's like a slinky kind of, sucking and going. This one does a winding motion, which is a slither. And uh, it is completely blind. It is not native to Florida. It, uh, it actually originated in Africa. And um, it came over in various plants and other shipping containers. And anytime they transported soil, there was always a possibility of having something like this in the soil. And this snake is really interesting because it's super small, which means it's probably difficult for it to cover a long geographic range and find a mate. But what this snake is able to do is called parthenogenic reproduction. It actually can asexually reproduce. So this snake right here probably lays eggs, but may actually uh, be a live bearer. And I'll fact check that and just post it down here at the bottom of the video. But it doesn't need a mate. So this snake can live its life in total isolation and reproduce, which is very interesting. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this snake back go right here uh, where I found it and uh, it'll be on its way and it can continue to do what it does. So uh, let's do that. I'll get a good uh, video clip of it slithering off into the grass. I've been possibly heard it. So I'll put the rock back and I'll just put the snake right to the side here. Let you get a good video of it slithering back into its, let's get it back in the direction, there it goes. Okay, and I'll let that snake be on its way.